Hello, Orlando. <laughs> Mr. Mindful here, aka Christopher. And today I am going to be painting this room that, as you can see, I've already prepped and puttied up all the holes, sanded everything down, and we're going to try out a new piece of equipment today that I picked up on Amazon and I'm going to try it out for the first time ever. This is a new type of paintbrush that negates the use of a paint uh, tray. You actually fill up this with the paint. Put this on and roll away for a lot longer without ever having to keep dipping back into a paint tray. I thought that might save some time. It sounded like a really nifty idea. Wasn't that expensive. I believe this was about mm, 40 bucks for the whole kit. It comes with uh, uh, a couple of another little sliding roller blush for corners and another little edger for corners. And, uh, and it comes also with this nifty little pouring pail that you know we're going to use to get the paint into the side of this brush like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up and then I'm going to use it and I'm going to let you guys know if you should go and spend your money on this or is it a waste of money. Um, because you would think that everything new that comes out that's you know, better strategy, better technology, better technique for painting would show up at Sherwin Williams, Benjamin. Uh, you know, you would see it in the in the major paint stores, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. So, um, just hoping that it works out. So, I got it filled up. I got the cap on it. I can already start to see it coming through the cloth which is actually washable, reusable. Of course, over time, you're gonna probably wanna, wanna reuse it. But as you press on it, I see it coming through. So let's get started and see how this works out. Are we ready? <laughs> let's try moving the camera over here so you guys can see me as I attack this wall with paint. Let's see how this works out. Let's see if that's going to work. I see it coming out. I like it. I see that as it, and wherever you press down on that, it seems like there's more paint coming out when you press down on that. The only thing is that I don't like about it is that, well, the first thing that I noticed that I don't like about it is the stick. This two-part piece of the stick that comes with it is not the sturdiest. It seems like it's pretty flimsy. But the paint coming out of here is very, um, I like that. It's coming out evenly. And if I can just keep going and paint, 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 paint without having to um, dip into a paint tray, I can see that definitely being a time saver. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's going to take a little more uh, painting for me to see exactly how useful this device is going to be, and also, you know, if it has any cons aside from the flimsy stick that, you know, might make the traditional roller and tray a better option than this. But I don't know. What do you think? For now, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job, and I haven't had to dip back into the tray yet, so. I definitely see the promise of this method, even if this device isn't the most uh, advanced version of this technology. I'm sure there's a more sturdy version of it out somewhere. I haven't actually seen it. I'm not sure where I would buy it from. But not having a dip into your paint tray, which I did bring an extra one just in case this doesn't work out. But not having to dip into your paint tray and being able to paint is really um, going to make painting 
go a lot faster than I've been able to do it traditionally. So, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. What do you guys think about this? Leave a note in the comments if you feel like this is something you might want to buy. Uh, I'll try to find the link to where I bought it from. I think, I, I don't know if I saw it on Amazon or maybe I saw it on Facebook. I was on Facebook one day and it just popped up as an ad and I was like, you know, I thought maybe that would be pretty neat. So either way, I'll find out where I bought it from and I'll post it in the comments since I can't remember right now in case any of you guys want to buy it. But if you look at this, what, if you look at what I'm doing right now, I've painted almost this entire wall right here without having to dip once into my tray. I think that that is going to be something that professional painters are going to find to be a time saver. You know, I mean, I didn't do the whole thing yet, but imagine how much time you save, you know, dipping back into your bucket. You know, that takes, that does take some time out of your day. And if you don't have to do that, I mean, you're going to save a lot of time. And time is money. And who doesn't want to save money here? Say hi if you don't want to save money. Didn't hear, no, not one eye. Because everybody wants to save money. Who doesn't want to save money, you know what I mean? But, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my new gadget, my new gizmo. And I'm going to get on back to work now and let you get on back to your day. I am Christopher, Mr. Mindful. Check me out at MrMindfulHomeCare.com. You can catch me all over Central Florida, making homes more beautiful and more livable. Have a nice day. Love you guys. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, except for the, the trim in the corners, I was able to get most of this done. And this uh, hideous yellow is going to require, obviously, three coats uh, with a brush like this. Um, I've already done pretty much two coats. And I was able to get two coats, two coats done um, rather swiftly, to be honest with you, because not having to stop and fill up your brush, um, I mean your roller, on a paint tray, traditional paint tray, does save you time. However, this uh, particular um, paint roller that costs $32 and whatever on, on uh, Amazon for the kit, right? Um, while you can fill it up with paint and it does have its convenience as you can see in painting only one room it's already starting to tear up so it's made of really cheap materials and the stick broke um, while I was painting so I had to finish most of the room by hand by holding it like this so while I think that the technology that is being offered in this device um, in this particular kind of paintbrush in this system while the technology is actually uh, a really great idea it has to be done with higher quality materials uh, I mean even for a home a homeowner do it do it yourself or just painting one room it's gonna tear up obviously but if you were to make this with much higher quality materials even if you charge 50 or 60 bucks for it it would be worth the time being saved and I would buy it if it costed a little more but was made with materials that would last for more than one paint job. I didn't even get to finish one room of this paint job and it's already tearing up. And whatever this, the really flimsy aluminum that they made the stick, the stick was made out of this really thin, really flimsy aluminum and the plastic threading in the end of the stick that goes into the brush actually broke off mid paint mid stroke so it's really cheap material and, I, and they say you get what you pay for but that's not worth $32 it's worth like 20 maybe 15 but if you made it with higher materials I'd buy it again this one is going in the trash and I'll be painting with a traditional paint roller until a higher quality version of this technology comes out that's it um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed my little tutorial about this and I hope it uh, uh, helps you out in your decision making when you go to buy one of these or not. Alright, have a nice day. Mr. Mindful, signing out. Peace.